Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to give you three actionable steps that you can do today to help increase your Google Maps rankings. If you want to increase your Google Maps rankings, watch this. You want to rise in the ranks real quick? Have people click your Google My Business listing. I'm going to show you how. All right, so I'm in Google, and let's just say I typed in the keyword Tampa Plastic Surgery, right? I typed in Tampa Plastic Surgery, I hit search, and these are the search results that came up. So let's just say that I was uh, Dr. Greenwald, and I was in about fifth or sixth place. Um, so what I would do is I would just click this, Link. This is his Google My Business listing. I would take the link right up here. What this is telling Google is it is telling them that somebody did a search for Tampa plastic surgery and they and they pulled up uh, Dr. Greenwald. So I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to go to Bitly. That's B I T dot L Y. I already have a, an account created, but you go to Bitly. And what we want to do is we want to shorten that link because we can't send this link over to anybody. So it's going to shorten it. So it's going to shorten the link to this right here. Right? And then we click save. Now, once you have this link, you copy this link, go to YouTube and create a YouTube ad, a local YouTube ad, ad that's just in your city. In fact, you could even focus it down if you have a very large city. You know, you could make it 30, 15 to 30 miles. And you create a small ad and, and you use the bit.ly link as the link for people to click. You just want, let's just say, three to five people every couple of days to click that link. Let's just say 10 a week to click that link. It'll show Google that people are coming from, from social, they're looking for you and they're clicking a link and finding your business and they're satisfying the search. You're going to see your uh, Google rankings start to go up just within a week or two. You'll notice that right away. So in short is you take your link up on top, right? You click your business, you get your link, which is right on top, you right click, you copy it, you go to bit.ly, you put it in the customized link. Now you have your, now you have your, your short link, right? You just copy it. You go over to YouTube and you create an ad. I'll, I'll uh, put this link in my description. However, if you don't know how to do YouTube advertising, there's very good videos on it. YouTube makes some videos on how to do it. There are some private people that make some uh, videos on how to create a, a uh, YouTube advertising. I just want this video to be short. So uh, just create a YouTube ad with the bit.ly link going back to your Google My Business listing. You got that? All right, let's move on to step two. So in step two, what you want to do is you want to try to get reviews. In this next section, I'm going to show you how to get a short link and how to send that short link to your customers and clients so they could leave you a five-star review. So this is the best way I found to get uh, Google reviews. I go to a website called whitespark.ca and I go to tools and I go to review link generator. You put in your business name, mine is Mindsaw, and it creates a short link for you. You just copy the link and let me show you what it looks like. And what this does is it just goes right to your review page. So if somebody, you could text this link to someone. So for example, email it to yourself, copy the link and then text it to your clients and you're going to ask them for a review. Now I have a friend that has a scooter business up in Montreal and um, I told him, yeah, this is the way to get some reviews. And he 
got some reviews, but he got three and four stars by a lot of people, uh, only because I guess uh, some of those people just didn't want to give a five star review. And it's okay. I mean, you know, three and four star reviews don't hurt that much. It, it definitely looks natural. It'd be something if uh, you had a thousand reviews and they were all positive, they were all five star reviews. That doesn't really look well. But you want to try to get as many five star reviews as possible. So you send them over the link. And then what I like to do is, you know, not everybody's a great writer. You know, just because they used your service don't doesn't mean that they're a great writer. So sometimes I give them a little template or a head start, right? So I already wrote this out in Notepad. You know, I was searching for a company to do my search engine optimization in Tampa, Florida and found Mindsaw. I was interested in SEO and website design, right? And so on and so forth. You see, I'm trying to rank in Tampa, Florida and in New York City. So I'm having some of my clients, if they'd like to write, you know, they found me in Tampa, some they found me in New York, and they write that in the, in the Google review. And then when somebody's looking for an SEO company in Tampa, or they're looking for a website design firm in New York, I have a better chance of showing up in the Google three path because my review mentions that that's what I do. The biggest, strongest signals in the three pack are people clicking your link. That's the first thing. And the second thing is getting reviews. So if people are finding your website, clicking the link, calling you, then using the service, then coming back and leaving a review. If people constantly do that, you have a better chance of showing up in the three pack. I do suggest you write a template for your clients and say, hey, would you mind saying something along the lines of this? And the reason why I say that is because one of my best clients just wrote, I said, hey, can you leave me a review? I sent them the link. They're like, yeah, sure. I'd love to. You're great. And wrote, uh, the guys over there are great, great service. I love them. You know, it doesn't say what we do. It doesn't say what we do. So you want to give them a little template and you want to say, hey, uh, if you wouldn't mind, maybe something like this, and if they can write it in their own words, if they, well, maybe they'll use what you wrote. But I would definitely send them over a little starter. Use some of your keywords, sprinkle them in, sprinkle in the city that you're trying to rank for and the keywords you're trying to rank for. And if they use it, great. If not, that's okay too. The third and last thing you want to do is create a Google post. In the last part of this video, I'm going to show you how I create uh, a Google post that appears to work well. So as an example, I'd like to show you how I like to create posts. Okay. I'm going to show you how I create the post first, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the Google, my business in the knowledge panel, which is on the right hand side when you search for a business in Google. So let's just talk about how to create a Google post. First of all, I like to use an image and I like this image because it's a badge. And you'll see how it looks in Google My Business. Um, I pulled this badge somewhere off uh, one of the free websites that allow you to uh, use images, or I make them. But you can get them off, you know, just type in free, free images and find an image like this, right? So the first thing that I do is I put in their keyword that I want to rank for, right? Criminal defense lawyer. And then I put in a quote from one of their clients, actually a review, not a quote, I put in a review from the client. So if somebody's reading it in the knowledge panel, it's coming from somebody else and they say, Hey, this, uh, this guy was great. I put in the address as well as the website for a citation. And then I also put the areas that we service and I put in about eight areas that we service. I don't know how many you could put in. Maybe you could put in 200. Maybe that's better. I don't know, but I haven't seen many people do this. And I think it's a really good idea to put it inside Google posts. I don't know the full story and I don't like to make something up if I don't know it, but uh, Google plus, as you know, is not, uh, they took that down and these posts are becoming more important to Google. So you need to give them information. All right. So put all the information inside your Google post without keyword stuffing, make it look natural. 
The next thing that I do is I find a link that has to do with their area because I want to I want to show relevancy that this is where they do business. I found the Wikipedia link to Orlando, Florida. Doesn't has necessarily have to do with law. It's this is just my theory, right? You could find a government link, or if you're an electrician, you could find a top electrical link. I think it's important. I believe it's important to show relevancy in your area. So I put the link. I put the link to um, to to their area to a city page, and I found the Wikipedia. But like I said, you could find a, a government link, whatever you want to do. The other thing is remember that sexy Bitly link that I created, right? I hope you saved it. You could go back to Bitly and get it. But watch this. When you click it, it goes back to the GMB. You see that? See how sexy that is? Look. You see that? How sexy that is? Right? And that's in the post. This post over the past couple of days got 300 something views already. So if a couple of people clicked the bit.ly link, that is a vote for them that, you know, that, that people are searching for them in the three pack. So let's go to the knowledge panel when somebody does a search for your business. So for example, if you were searching this business up here and you came, this is the knowledge panel. And if you were to scroll down, remember it looks different on a mobile phone and uh, more and more searches are being done on mobile phones. And this knowledge panel, uh, I'm sorry, this post sometimes is moved all the way up here. So if you scroll down, I'm sorry, if you scroll down and you see this top rated, wow, that looks pretty good. And it starts to say some of the keywords and you click it and then you could continue to read, right? Then you could continue to read. You could continue to read the post and it says the areas that they service. And then it has that bit.ly link where you could click and uh, it goes to the it goes to the three pack search for a criminal defense lawyer, right? So I would create my Google My Business post exactly like this. Put the keyword that you're trying to rank up on top first. I'm sorry, get a nice image, like top rated, number one, whatever you want to put there. Get one of your, one of your quotes, quotes, one of your reviews put in the address with the website, areas we service, right? A link to your city page. I use the Wikipedia, okay? That's just my theory. And then you want that bit.ly link back to the keyword that you're trying to rank for. That is much better than either not putting a post or just putting a post saying, well, what should I say here? I don't know. Um, I'll just say blank, right? So do it this way. Do it this way. And I believe that's going to help your rankings a lot better. Hey, so I really hope that this video helped you and gave you some insight. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Yeah, you want to get people to click your link. You want people to leave you reviews. You got to kind of coach them a little bit as to what to say, or they're just going to say you guys were great. And you want to create those Google posts. I think by doing those three things over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see your ranking start to increase in the Google Maps. Um, so I, I really hope that that helped. Hang around here for a second because I'm not finished, right? So I always say in all my videos, make sure you kiss your wife and kiss your kids because that's real important. You know, we get to sit here and we get to do our thing and watch our videos while, you know, our, our wife makes our dinners maybe or works another job or whatever the situation is. And we have our kids that we have to take to uh, practice and whatever they have to do. I know I have to do it on my side. So, you know, just, just be grateful for them. And all this other stuff is gravy, you know? We get, to, uh, we get to play around on Google and try to figure them out and then they whack us and then we come back and try to do it again and we try to rank our clients and we try to make some money so we could uh, provide a good life, not only for ourselves, but for either our family or our loved ones or someone else besides you. And that's the reason why I do it 
and that's why I like to do it, and that's the reason why I like to help other people because I feel that other people are very similar to me, right? That's what I feel. I feel like other people are similar to me. We're all in this trying to, uh, you know, trying to help our families and trying to give them a worry-free life. This video is dedicated to my brother for life, Darren Marion. Brother, I miss you so much. And uh, I dedicate this video to you.